thân thơ ngồi chờ chọi như chó xù chờ sương rơi You see, the reason I don't have any team is because all of my team are working for either for SMTV or everything else to support all this. You see what I mean? That's why I walk everywhere alone. I can't even have anybody arranging anything for me. I do it all alone. You understand? Nobody to take luggage or oh, bring me tea and all that. Ha! Huh? Good job, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. at night when you say uh, somebody could then at least keep an eye on things so you can do something else and then mm -hmm. let you know when it comes yeah. in or, yeah. you know, some sort of help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I also have. Uh, between these uh, t three, four people at home, yeah. But of course, you, of course, uh, you can help also, of course. But I don't want you to just leave your family and your kids and our uh, 25 years old child. <laughs> so we can live near you. Live near? How? I don't have any houses for rent around there. Maybe can have tent. Tent? <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe we should then go to LA six months. We could get six months visa and help uh -huh. there. However you see us Yeah, then, then you just you go. Do then why don't you just do why if you want to go to LA you don't have to ask me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is whatever is good. Mostly like my cook, my chef all these years now they go and cook for restaurants so that other people can enjoy and become vegan, yeah? So now I'm eating lousy food or I cook it <laughs> myself. Yeah. And my secretary has to do something else, and my other has to do something else, because now we have more and more work all the time. What? My wife's sister, she's Taiwanese. She's a very good cooker. Where is she? Um, maybe downstairs, or she take care of garbage. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's Taiwanese? She's Taiwanese, yeah. And oh. we live in South France. She's French now? France now? No, she has. So how? She, she has the French paper, yeah. Oh, I understand. Okay. Okay, I think I translate it for SMTV and magazine also. I understand. So how do you get rid of your house and your kids and all that? About <laughs> my house, but if you say okay, okay. have solution now, we no can house. manage that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's uh, that. That would be nice to live together. But my house is very small. I mean, it's big, but it's full of dogs and birds already. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter. When would you live in a tent? Yes. I also have a tent myself, <laughs> and a small garden shed. I told you two by two. Yeah, that's where I live actually. And at night I go in all day or night. The dogs whenever and the birds. But at night I have to be there to watch over them, in case something happens in the night. You know, if I'm not there now, one person takes turns to go there to sleep at night or meditate. You know, just to watch over them because so many dogs, many birds, anything could happen. Nothing could happen, but. How do you know, you know, if they're sick at night or something? Somebody always has to be there. They're like children. You can't just leave them alone. Even daytime, we don't leave them alone. Always somebody's there. Either I or there's somebody cooking or somebody's always there. We take care of them all day because we have to take them out, you know, four or five times a day. We have to clean the birds, the cages, and give clean water, you know, all the time. We check out if the water is clean or not clean, change it, and give them food. You know, on time, give them snacks, clean the cage, pick up the, you know, their waste and things like that. I can do that. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will think about that. Oh yes. <laughs> I just have to go home and yeah. consider who is who because now it's too many. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's not like that. And you guys, uh, are you going home yet now? No. Do I have time? Yes. Okay, do I have time? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, do I have time for all of you? Yes, we're busy. Okay. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Then we might as well stay in the hotel because <laughs> there's no room anywhere else like this. <laughs> Ooh, dear God. <laughs> The hotel is the only thing that can accommodate or, or so many. I don't have room in my house. I have a house, a big house, yeah, and a guardian house. The guardian house has four rooms, and now people are living in there, each one one room. I promise them next time you will have your own room, because before yeah, they live in the garage or storage and all that. So now they have their own rooms. They're happy already. If you come, I think they will hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, cold at night, no? Winter, cold. Winter? Yeah, winter might be cold, but not that cold over there, though. Not so 
Yeah, two, two degrees or zero degrees. <laughs> it's okay, huh? Sleeping bag and big, yeah. thick blanket. <laughs> yeah. I can sleep with the dogs. Yeah? <laughs> hmm? Everybody hugs one dog and it's warm. <laughs> I don't think they like you. <laughs> you stink of sin. Oh my goodness, how I go through all this. Are you sure? <laughs> what are you doing there? Have you finished your degree? Yes, yes, I finished in December. So what are you now? Doctor who? <laughs> Huh? So you're not going to work now, doctor? I am just trying to like in, in between states, I'm uh -huh. looking for a new job. Understand. And I have seen money from the old place. You have what, love? Uh, you sold your place? I know that I am just renting a flat and I still have money from that old job that I have. Uh, I understand. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no! <laughs> From where? How? I have to buy another hotel. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> like a mountain. <laughs> huh? But thank you for your... for your love. To be honest with you, I don't think I need that many assistants. <laughs> but th thank you. <laughs> so if you come, it would be just like a homeless shelter then. <laughs> or I have to buy another hotel. You know, even this hotel cannot house all these people. If you want one room each or even two, three people one room, it would be difficult. And besides your visa, how will you get? Must I have an Italian passport? Italian passport now? How? Always. I've always had... Oh, I thought you have South African passport. I have South African Oh, wonderful. Aren't you clever? And last time I can sell everything, and then I'm dead free. Uh-huh. Then you don't need me, then I don't even want me here. Okay. <laughs> and your boyfriend... Uh, Forget the boyfriend. <laughs> so much for romance. <laughs> The poor guy, if he hears this, huh? I know that, but what will you do then? I don't eat. Just hang around and eat or what? No, I want to work with you. Work to do what, honey? I'm a good driver. I'm a very good driver. I don't use directions. You don't need directions? <laughs> you don't lose? Okay. Oh, my goodness. I can cook. I can clean. Yeah, I know. We don't need all these people for cooking and cleaning. <laughs> Wow, you guys are so cute. I don't mind. I want to house all of you, to be honest with you. I don't mind. If you have nothing to do, well, you just stay and meditate. Yeah? All I need is just $10 per day. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have money, we don't talk about it. <laughs> no, no, we're okay. Financially, it's okay. Actually, if you live in my house and if you have enough savings, it's not much, you know. Maybe five euros together, and then we eat well. Hmm? Do you have five euros at least? No, five euros. It's too little. Five euros per day for the rest of your life? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Five euros is enough for European country to eat one day? Yeah. What do you mean, no? <laughs> what do you want to eat? I just give you one loaf of bread and a bottle of mineral water. That's five euros. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can plant vegetables also and be self-sufficient. We can do a business. <laughs> business? Then what for staying with me? Okay, do business. Yeah, yeah, can do also. That's good. That's good. We can do business also. Yeah. No, online business, yeah? <laughs> Selling initiates, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to buy a helpless, hopeless, <laughs> jobless, <laughs> boyfriendless person? <laughs> uh, uh, one euro. <laughs> or maybe if you don't have money, then it's free. <laughs> I know all of you can do everything. I know that. It's just to live together in one community. It could be complicated. You understand the personality conflict? Now you say, oh, because you're happy to see me after a long time. Anything we do, I just sit under a Bodhi tree until I become Buddha. But no, when you go there, you say, oh, my room's so small. I have to share it with three people. And they smell, you know. 
uh, they don't clean the bathroom, blah, 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 all kinds of things will happen. I'll tell you what, uh, when, when we were in Hungary, remember, many people wanted to come and stay with me. But at that time, I didn't have room anyway. I didn't have a place. But uh, some of them did come. And I even had a house already at that time, you know. Uh, and uh, because we just moved in, a lot of work to do, chaotic. We have to begin building cages for birds and set up for dogs and all kinds of things we have to do for the new house, yeah? And so I put them all up next to my room. I had one room with all the dogs sleeping at night. But uh, downstairs was free for everybody. It's a big living room, you know? So nighttime we slept upstairs because sleeping rooms were upstairs. I had one room with all the dogs. The woman had some rooms next door, and the man had some rooms opposite me. Opposite, but down a long corridor, yeah, in a different quarter. And some were for the birds, and, yeah, and the dogs were with me. So we, women, in one, in one side of the house, and the men and the birds on the other side of the house. I also have a guardian house with four rooms and everything, of course, but at that time I saw the guardian house were very dirty, not, not clean yet. Yeah, we didn't have time for, for taking care of that because we just moved in. We didn't have everything. We must go buy this, buy that, and clean this and clean that. You understand how it was? Because we couldn't take everything with us with a few cars yeah, and a few drivers. We needed space for cages, for the dogs, for the birds, and for our uh, immediate belongings and the cooking stuff. You understand how it is? Moving. Yes. We couldn't take anything except sleeping bags. Even dogs' beds, we couldn't. Uh, sleeping bag, the dog sleeps on it, also fine. You know, I folded them four, four times, two times, or two sleeping bags, and it's very soft. I also sleep on sleeping bag alone, one sleeping bag even, to cover, yeah? But the dogs have a little bit more extra. That was the beginning, but then we had to buy many things, you know, and clean up the house because they didn't clean that well, you know? And we had to build cages and set up quarters and, you know, organize everything. And the three boys temporarily stay in that empty room together. But one of the boys talked to the other two boys, and then they wanted to move to the guardian house immediately the next morning. I say, why? Just stay here first. The guardian house is not ready. We have to clean it all first before I let you in. Because for a long time nobody lived there. Bacteria or whatever, you know, moles, yeah, dew, and all kinds of dampness. You know, I don't know what is there. You, you, you stay here. And I asked why, I, of course this will be yours if you want to, but right now it's winter and we stay here, it's safe. I don't know if the heater works in the guardian house, I don't know if hot water working. We don't have time to check all that and clean the house inside out for you yet. Because we're only a few people, we have to first organize in here for the pets, you see? Dogs and birds. And so just stay here, but they just wanted to go to the guardian house. I say, well, what's the reason? I thought you all didn't even need the room because you say you would meditate all night. You, that's what you told me, guys. You know, the, the, the group in Hungary, they say, we don't need room, we don't need sleep anymore. We just follow you. We just meditate all night, remember, just like on retreat. <laughs> so when you come now, you even have a room and only three persons. Why do you want to move? Oh, last night I wanted to drink water, but the dogs were out all over. I could not go out. <sighs> that's the reason. Believe it? Yeah. Do you believe it? Yes. It happened like that. So, okay, finally they went there. What I mean is what you illusionize about yourself and what you do when you face reality are different. Oh